Hello guys and welcome back to Lawn Mowing Simulator. I've been kind of busy getting some contracts done, getting some money, getting some rep, and we are doing pretty darn good. In between episodes, I have upgraded our headquarters, if you will. So now we got two bays available to us. One is already taken up by the night tractor slash lawnmower that we bought in the first episode. Now I can buy another one, which means I can also hire someone as well. So um, let me go over, first thing is, Let's go ahead and buy another lawnmower first. Make sure we got the money to do what I want to do. Um, I'm a little confused a little bit into the game uh, as for the specs on some of the lawnmowers. So like the night tractor that we have, if you look at the specs, it says new to the night fleet is the Agile 0FS1 with 112 centimeter, 44 inch mulching deck and articulated steering it is perfect for tight spaces. Then if you look at the specs to it, it says deck size 39 inches. So is it 44 or 39? I have no idea, uh, but that is the tractor we have. The one I want to buy is this one right here. There we go, the Patterson. Uh, it's, a, it's a bigger deck. It says 48 inch deck, which is good, but also comes, uh, it says available attachments is a side discharge deck, which I believe it comes as standard or the 48 inch mulching deck. I would like the mulching deck. I don't know how to change it though. I don't think we can change it in the shop. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buy this one right here. Drops our account down to 276.25. But there we go. We have purchased another tractor. Congratulations to myself. Um, we need to hire an employee. I've already picked out my employee that I want to hire and it's gonna be Amber. The reason why she is a apprentice, uh, there's a cheaper on Steam to bring an apprentice up to, I think it's expert status or something like that. You can see um, like a journeyman will get paid 200 per week. That's not a lot of payment, but uh, whatever. Uh, she'll get paid 150, but I'm pretty sure as she levels up, she'll get paid more. Um, there is another one pro proficient. Uh, gets paid 250. We're gonna hire Amber though, just because, uh, well, she's the cheapest. And you know what? We're gonna learn together, Amber. That's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and hire Amber. Yep. Uh, are you sure you wish to hire Amber Oliver? They'll be paid. Yeah, we can. We can do that. <clears throat> All right. So now, oh, that's pretty cool. They actually show uh, both of us uh, standing there. I did change the color of the uniforms as well. Didn't like the style I kind of had going there, so. A little bit of purple and some kind of, yeah, you can see the colors. Um, so apparently uh, when you upgrade the original garage that you get or building, it's uh, $1,500 to upgrade it to to upgrade. Um, it doesn't look like there's any more upgrades available to it, right? It says HQ, we're fully upgraded. So um, the next upgrade, or not, not the next upgrade, but the next building we can purchase, I guess we can purchase another one of these maybe? I have no idea. Um, but you can see they're like 160,000, so on and so forth. So it's going to be a while before we can do that. Uh, no, 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 no. We need to, we need to go back. All right. So now we need to get some jobs done today. So first, we're going to get Amber on a job, and the reason why <laughs> I needed to hire someone today because a lot of jobs I have available to me now require a bigger lawnmower. So let's go get Amber onto something kind of simple. It might be that one right there. Yeah, that's probably going to be the easiest one for her. All right, so employee is going to be Amber, and you are going to take the night. Uh, I think it is all set to rock and roll for you. Field condition, engine, blade, and fuel tank, they're all set to go. Uh, so, yep, confirm contract. So she, this is the first time I had a, an employee go out and do a job, so we'll see how she does. Um, what I need to do is go to here, and... If I go to confirm, attachments, there we go. Now let's go to the shop. How much, uh, I don't want the discharge. I want the mulching deck. Cost to buy is a thousand. I don't have a thousand. All right. So the reason why I like the mulching deck, because this would be, I mean, it'd be kind of good. I don't think I've used a discharging mower yet. So I got to be careful what contracts I take. Some contracts are going to require us to do mulching. All right, so what do I got left here? Uh, no, she's already on that one. 
Okay, what is this one? Okay, so I, this is a contract I did in between episodes and I didn't complete it because with a night tractor, I almost ran out of fuel because um, it took so long. Um, it just says general cut. All right, that's fine. Uh, I think we're all set. The grass at the orchard cottage has grown to wild heights and needs cutting. The long grass may mean you need to either cut slowly or do multiple passes at different heights. Head over there with a the mower that can handle it and complete a general cut. So this is probably going to be a good one to start with because if I just charge grass anywhere, I don't think it's going to matter too much. So employee is going to... What if I try to... Okay, it says she's already assigned, so I'm just trying to see how that would work. Um, yeah, vehicle is going to be us in the Patterson. Uh, okay, so I'm going to try to cut it as high as I can because you can see the current grass range is anywhere from eight and a quarter inches up to 13 and three quarter inches. I got to cut it down to two and three eighths to two and three quarters. So I'm going to try to do two and three quarters. And let's go ahead and start. So our first task is going to go around and try to pick up the debris in the area. So, I mean, the only tractors I've used, I used in the demo, I used a Knight, which we used in episode one. And I used, uh, was it the Steiger? The basic Steiger in the demo. And that is the one I did the second lawn on. And I kind of mowed over flowers and such to see what it was. So, and then by the way, I think I've done about maybe 12 contracts in between episodes. Oh, it is raining. So I don't know how this is going to affect us here. So two and three quarters. Uh, there are six things on the yard here that we got to find, so make sure I try to cover everything that I can. Grass is kind of tall, so it may not come out and jump out at us that something is there. Okay, there are like six objects in this lawn. I haven't found nothing yet. Oh, 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 oh. there's one. Kind of spot that for from a little far away. Sometimes you can get lucky because of the render distance. You can sometimes see stuff in the grass from a far distance. Look, there's something else over here. I definitely will be getting the mulching deck when we get the cash. So right after this job, if I can complete the job. Wow, I've only found two things so far. Usually find things pretty darn quick but this grass is so tall Oop, okay I've only found three things so far three out of six where oh where are the other three? Oh, two of them right here now I'll get on it right now because you can hear it some of the ambient noises in, in this game, I don't quite get. Um, uh, I, I guess out here, oh, I think I saw the other. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So it should be right here. So it's right there. If I go back here, where was I? Somewhere here, if I look off in the distance, where was it here? It was up here? Great, now I lost it. Well, I saw it there for a second. If you go back in the video, you might be able to see it as well. But sometimes off in the distance, you can see things quite a ways out. So, yeah, some of the ambient noises, like sometimes when I do in residential areas, you can hear cows and such. And I'm like, um, would there be cows over here? I'm not too sure. All right, let's go ahead and jump on the vehicle. Um, I've been kind of enjoying the first-person kind of view. Let's go ahead and fire up the engine. I've also changed the uh, the volume of the mower, so hopefully it's not as loud this episode as it was last episode. All right, let's throttle up. Uh, how low can I go on here? All right, so two and a half is what it's going to have to be, I do believe. All right, so I think we are good to go. Now, I'm, I'm so used to... Well, this thing turns really quick. I'm so, so used to the night tractor. I wonder how this is going to go. Now, this is steering a little bit different. Well, they steer the same. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so maybe I gotta, I'm going to go out in this person. How wide is the mowing deck? 
All right, so it's a little bit, uh, I'm trying to see, it's a little bit to the left of that wheel, and the discharger is quite a ways out on the other one. All right, actually, I can, I can actually see the deck. Okay, so that's the deck I'm looking at. All right. Sorry, guys, it's a new mower. you got to get used to it. So I've already got some collision damage, but that's... This one steers, is very uh, finicky on the steering compared to the night tractor. Now, I know when we were talking about the demo mode, which was about a month ago, um, we were wondering about uh, weed whackers, weed strimmers, edgers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they said they're going to work on getting that into the game into the future, but right now they're just trying to get the basis of the game out there and make sure everything's functional. So already, like I said, I did this contract once already with the Knight, and I got 94% done before I called it quits. Um, yes, you can quit a contract early and still get paid relatively well. Uh, that's because I ran, was running out of fuel, so I don't know what happens if I were to run out of fuel. Yes, I'm hitting the fence, I know. Uh, gotta get used to this, this tractor here. Lawnmower. But yeah, you can quit a, quit a contract early and still get paid relatively well. I'm just hitting everything with this lawnmower. I will say this mower is, mower is handling the grass better than the knight did. So originally I thought I was going to go ahead and, you know, we're just going to do... I wasn't going to do any off-camera work and we're just go episode by episode. Overloading that motor there a little too much. But then I thought, you know what, we're going to need to see some progress or else you go... I mean, like I said, I did about 12 contracts since the first episode. And they're all in the night mower because that's all we had. So now we want to advance this a little bit further. It's going to take me a while to get used to this steering here. Now, the good thing I kind of like about this, it's not... Uh, the way it seems like it's setting up, it's not like American Truck Simulator to where when you hire a worker and you put them in a vehicle like that's their vehicle. Every day, you can change who's working and what. So I can always go back and use the night tractor myself. I keep saying tractor than the mowers. But. Oh, wow, I'm just doing... Terrible in driving this episode already. Now, uh, yeah, overloading the engine, that's fine. Well, it's not, it's not fine. I just gotta find the happy medium here. Well, what did I say was the highest? I mean, they said the grass could have been like 13 and a half inches tall, and I gotta cut it down to two and a half. I mean, that's like that's almost a foot of grass I'm cutting here. Now, it could be the big difference is the night tractor is a mulching tractor, and this one's a discharger. I should actually technically be discharging, uh, at least going counterclockwise here in a second. I want to get two headlands done. So I'm discharging the grass out to where I've already cut. So if I keep pushing the grass over where I'm cutting, it's like cutting more grass again. I am also very interested to see when we get done here how Amber does on her first job. She's, you know, just an apprentice and we just like tell her, hey, go mow this lawn here. You know, she's probably going to have penalties and fines and all that. I mean, heck, I do all the time. I'm still trying to figure out as well as to damaging the, the, the people's yards. Um, I've, you know, I tried turning slow and sometimes it does it. Uh, I tried testing it by turning real fast and tight, and it doesn't damage the lawn. And I'm like, oh, I can't damage the lawn on this one. Then I go take a, like a slower corner at half the speed, and it's like, ah, uh, fine, and you know, you damage the lawn. It's like, how? How is this? How is this calculating how you're damaging to someone's yard? I'm not sure. Yeah, the cow. The cow. When I hear a cow move, sometimes in this game, it's like. Would there be, I don't, is there a farm anywhere around here? I'm not too sure. 
I gotta remember though, I've got a big mowing deck here, bigger mowing deck, not a really big one, but I don't, I gotta put the, that wheel, I think, in the grass itself. Like I said, I'm used to mowing with a night tractor, so I gotta use this one here. Yeah, I'm already 10% done, so definitely doing a lot better than the night did, but like I said, I'm probably able to go faster because, like I said, the night is a mulching mower, which this will be as well. Once we upgrade it. I'm kind of curious though, after I upgrade it, can I always switch it back to a discharger? <coughs> I have left clippings. Pick them up when I'm done. How do I do that? How, how do I, how do I pick up grass clippings? I have no idea how to pick up grass clippings. That's why a mulcher would come in handy. Okay, so you can kind of see the discharge, you can see the grass clippings coming out. It's kind of neat. I can imagine once we start getting really up there and rep. I mean, this job here pays a thousand. So when I get up there and rep, it's going to be pretty darn good. Our advertising has finished as well. And I haven't put any more into advertising. Oh man, this thing turns really fast. I'm trying to get used to this mower and have it. It's going to take a while. I was getting really good with the night, knowing uh, how it turns and all that good stuff. Now, I don't know if advertising right off like I did was the right choice to do or not, but. It may have gotten me better jobs because I got some uh, early reputation by advertising. I think it's called rep points, right? Rep points. Well, this grass is just really tall. How tall can I go on this deck? Three and a half. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut it at the recommended height. I'm not going to cut it at three and a half and come back and try to do it, cut it again. I did a lot of jobs like this where the grass was just extremely high. So you gotta, you know, you gotta be careful with the throttle. Or I should say the accelerator. The throttle, yeah, you're either at, you know, full RPMs or minimum RPMs. The collision damage on this job is gonna be through the roof by if these barriers around these apple trees more than I like to admit, but I hit them a lot. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I've been trying also driving in third person a little bit. I think third person does give you guys maybe a better view, but leave comments below. We'll drive third person here in just a moment, uh, but I definitely got to go first person. When you're driving around the trees, yeah, if you're driving third person, you can't really see a darn thing when you got trees around you. So I'll go third person here in just a moment. And uh, after watching a while, you can make a comment below to let me know if you'd like the third person view better than this view here, which is the first person. Also, on third person, you can definitely see the grass clippings I'm leaving around the, uh, well, it's not the yard, it's the orchard, but the, the grass clippings I'm leaving on the job, I mean, you can see them pretty darn good right here, but when I go in third person, you can definitely see the grass clippings around. I'm not really sure what we have to do to pick up the grass clippings. I don't know. It just says I can pick them up after I'm done. I, I don't know what that means. Uh, but since I'm done going around the trees, I think I can go in third person here. So let's go... Uh, yeah, this is the view I'm going. See, you really can see the grass clippings I'm leaving everywhere. And I thought maybe by going over the grass clippings again, it would kind of, quote-unquote, mulch them up enough. But I don't think so. So you can kind of see a little bit of what I'm saying. Like, if you get too close to trees, you're not going to be able to see what the heck you're doing. So can I go across this tree here and kind of see where I am, but not really, so it gets kind of... It just blocks your view. I mean, plain and simple, blocks your view. 
I'm also waiting for one of those jobs to come along. I'm pretty sure it's going to be. It might even be a hidden achievement on Steam, I'm guessing. But the thing is, it's going to be hard to tell, is to get a progression bar to 100%. So, like, this job here, I believe, is going to be 99.5%. The thing is, once you hit that progression achievement, it just says job is done. So, you can't... So, if you're trying to get 100% done, you can... Yeah, you can go around and get the ones you can see, but you're not going to be able to know if you're actually 100% done because the progression bar kind of disappears on you. I'll get that one up there because... I got a little clip there as well. The other thing I will mention, but I don't think I'm gonna find this. I'm definitely not gonna see it in the Patterson anytime soon. It is a Patterson, right? Hopefully I got that right. But like in the night lawnmower, when I was doing this job here, and like I said, I just about ran out of fuel. When you get down to half a tank of fuel, the fuel gauge in the bottom right hand corner, that whole fuel gauge area you know, just starts blinking at you. I think they need to maybe adjust that to, let's just say, hopefully they adjust it to, when it gets down to a quarter of a tank. Now, I'm pretty sure everywhere in the world that when people go mow lawns like this, that they bring a gas can with them. So if they do get happen low on fuel, they can go ahead and just put more gas in the lawnmower. So I don't know in the future if that's going to be a thing. Um, but you can see right here, this Patterson here, uh, we definitely got a bigger fuel tank in it. I didn't really look at that too much while I was buying it. But with the night, I... Like I said, I had to quit because I was just about out of fuel. Now, I think this job says it's going to take me about a half an hour, but... Yeah. You can see I'm going on 50 minutes right now to get this job done. But I'm going to be kind of curious, how do I pick up the grass clippings? I don't know. If I don't pick them up, how much of of a fine is it because I definitely like to see but like I said when we get done with this job and this done with this day um, I will be getting the mulching deck for this so I don't have to worry about that anymore although I think it, you know without the mulching deck it's definitely allowing me to mow the grass a little bit better I'm gonna make two passes here anyway so let's go ahead and do it like this so yeah I think third person is gonna be a better view for you guys to see what's going on I mean that first person view uh, yeah, if you do get motion sickness, I think that could cause you a problem. I don't ever get motion sickness, so it doesn't bother me at all. I know some well, some of my viewers out there definitely do get motion sickness, so I think third person would be better for you. In a view like this, yeah, it's much easier to see your mowing deck. Uh, I do like the, the view of the discharge of the grass coming out. You can see the grass clippings everywhere. And let's turn the mower off. It always says reverse onto the trailer. I have yet to reverse onto a trailer. Can I get off the tractor before I get on? I'm hitting a whole bunch of buttons here just trying to see if I can get off the tractor. I don't think I can. I'm throttle up and let's go ahead and put it on here. Maybe it'll give me the option afterwards. Uh, just as I'm done. So I, re I left grass clippings everywhere. I don't know... We'll see what kind of a fine I get, if any. I don't know. It said pick up the grass clippings when you're done. I'm not sure how to do that yet. So <laughs> I thought maybe when I got off the tractor. I kind of figured when I got on there, because what it usually does, it, it, it cut, it, it just, the game says, okay, you're done with the job. Um, that's how you complete a contract, far as I know. So I was kind of worried when I was doing this job before in the night lawnmower. I'm like, if I run out of gas, is that going to consider it done? Penalties and fines, uh, $12.25 in collision. Cleanup fees, one cent. I, I, I can deal with that. <laughs> I can deal with that. Um, but we earned just shy of $1,300 for that. Uh, let me go ahead and just hit next. Uh, so she completed the job. Uh, ground check time bonus zero. Ground check earnings 15. So it looks like she did go around picked up everything but she doesn't get a time bonus uh she had some penalties and fees twelve dollars and 25 cents in, in collisions all right she's an apprentice hey i've been there cleanup fees one cent why would she have cleanup fees when she's got a mulcher i'm not sure about that so okay that's fine uh okay so the next thing i need to do is we're gonna go to our garage we're gonna go tonight Oh, maintenance. Um, the vehicle is in 
Wow, she did a lot of damage to the vehicle. It's fine. It's going to cost me $26.07 to repair it. I know it shows pounds there, but, you know, I'm American. I'm stupid. It's dollars. Um, engine repair. Boy, she really did a number on this thing. Eight forty-nine. dollars All right, and the blades. Okay, wow. Uh, 94 cents on fuel. I can deal with that. All right. Uh, let's go back, and I'll select hour. Well, I don't say hours. Um, maintenance. Vehicle, so... Okay, so even I did a lot of damage to mine. Even that. All right. Did the prices go up on this since uh, I remember? I'm not too sure. But uh, let's go ahead to attachments. And shop and... 48-inch mulching deck. Zero owned, zero available. So apparently I can swap that out at any time I want. Let's go ahead, uh, I got 1928 in the bank, so let's go ahead and do that. Yes, I want the mulching deck. Is that is that what's on there now? All right, so how do I... Aha, so you just got to hit attach. All right. And then if I back out of there, whoops, and rotate it. There, now we got a mulching deck. It's kind of weird. Now it says my deck size is zero inches. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's not. Um, okay, so I think... I could actually sell the other deck. No, okay. So what that means is I can I can sell that and buy a different one. Uh, I don't want to do that. All right. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what we got out there for jobs. All right, that's not something. That's probably for me. That's probably for me. Well, this is that's a three star, three and a half star. What is my rep? Uh, it's hard to say what my company rep is. Does it show what my company rep is? I mean, it says credible rank number five, but I mean. Yeah, I'm not going to take out a loan. All right, so where? All right, it's going to be her. Um, let's put her on that one there. And of course, you're going to be doing that with... That's a general cut, requires mulcher or collector. So both of our tractors are now mulchers. All right, and so Amber, Oliver, you are going there. And we are going to go... Why is it it's actually showing me the orchard again? Uh, nope, that job's already taken up. We're not going to do the orchard. The Jefferson Garden or... Why is this one? That's another tall grass one. Let's, uh, what is this one here? Jeez, that one, <laughs> that grass is almost 16 and a half inches tall. Oh, man. All right, so that's saying 45 minutes-ish. What is this one? That's about 50 minutes. 99.9% .9 needs to be cut. All right, you know what? Yeah, we'll do this one. If it's going to be about the same same time for me to do it, I must take the one that's going to pay me sixteen fifty five to do it. Uh, rep RP value, I'm not too concerned about it. So uh, let's go ahead and grab myself, and we'll grab this one right here. And confirm contract, yes, and start. So now we got the mulcher, even though I don't need it for this job, but it should eliminate the one cent uh, cleanup fee penalty that I did not do. Yeah, I'm not sure how you clean up the grass. Uh, as far as I know, there's no hand tools like can go around with a rake and pick the grass. I'm not sure 
uh, how to, do I get off the tractor and do it? I gotta learn maybe how to get off the tractor once you start. Um, oh, I gotta double check when it, okay, uh, wait, two and three quarters, okay, two and three quarters, two and three, eight, three eighths to three quarters, all right, two and three eighths to three quarters, hopefully I can remember that. So this is something I, this is a yard I haven't seen before. But two and three quarters. I always try to cut it at the highest height that it allows me to, because that way it's less grass I'm actually cutting. So it'll be easier for the mower. Now you can actually skip going around and looking for the stuff on the ground. So I've actually, I just saw a, a piece of material on the ground. Like I said, sometimes if you look far out, you can kind of see them. Yeah, so I don't mind the horse sound here because I'm near a horse paddock. So there was something here. Yep. Yeah. Back on up here because I was over here ish. That's a piece of tall grass that I was seeing. I just see something. No, I saw something thicker on the screen. We got one more piece somewhere. Round, round, get around. I get around. Hopefully, we can find this last piece. I think in the demo version, I quit looking for something for a while to see how much of a penalty there is. Now, if you leave something on the ground, it kind of picks up for you before you start mowing, so it's not going to hurt your mowing deck or anything. Oh, there it is. Good, we found it. I still had uh, over four minutes to go ahead and get it. This lawn doesn't look that big. Am I missing something here? I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on. All right, so two and a half is where the mowing deck's gonna have to be. Uh, let me get my camera angle that. That will be good somewhere in that general area. Uh, lower that down. Still trying to get used to the steering radius of this thing. Not the, not the radius, but how quickly it turns. So now with a mulching deck, I don't have to worry about grass clippings and all that. Now there are baggers out there, that bagger lawnmowers that you can get. But of course, once your bagger is full, you, know, you, you got to pretty much stop and unload them into... Well, bags, I guess. I'm trying to watch my rear end there, make sure I don't back into a building. Get the edges first is what I always do. It's usually when you start a job, you're taking your time. <laughs> do I take my time? Yeah, of course not. Yeah, be careful of flowers and such. And after we get done this job here, and of course Amber gets done with her job, we'll see how, I don't know, is there a level up bar that she has or something? I don't know if those are weeds or flowers, so I gotta be kind of careful. I have mowed over, in the contracts I did in between episodes, I did mow over a flower. I've only mowed over one flower so far, and it cost me a buck. So, I think some flowers are probably worth more. Whoa, whoa, trying to get the camera angle better so I can see where I'm turning here. That's about the only thing. Yep, the camera's doing some weird things because we're next to a hedgerow. Yeah, but the trees can be a little bit of an issue in third person. So I'm just everywhere right now with this thing. I've done so many in first person now that I'm trying to do third person, trying to give you guys a better view. 
Ah, collision. Uh, don't over stress the motor. There we go. So now it's going to be a little bit easier. So over the night, not only does this have a bigger deck, but also has a bigger top speed. So if I'm able to go that fast, it'll definitely help me get the job done quicker. Uh, bigger fuel tank definitely helps out. But like I said, now every day when we do contracts, if I feel like driving the night tractor for a while, I can put Amber onto this one and give her a bigger job. And we can grab the night and uh, do a job ourselves as well. Yeah, I'm overloading the engine. Now the one thing I noticed when I did the orchard, not once did I damage the ground. And I thought I would have taken tighter corners because it's zero, zero turn radius. Uh, but the ground was also wet because it was raining. But not once did I, uh, when I was making tight corners on hills, accelerating, not once did I damage the ground. So it's kind of interesting in that aspect that this tractor didn't damage the ground anywhere. Uh, see what happens when you overload the motor, you don't, your, your mowing deck kind of slows down. And it doesn't cut all the grass that you're going over, so you just got to be a little bit careful of that. But I'm pretty much going to have just me and Amber for a while. Because now, to buy another garage is going to be $150,000, so it's going to be kind of expensive. So, I mean, if we earn... Like fifteen hundred dollars a day. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a while. Although it's not too bad. Like I said, as we get more rep, maybe I'll get more job or not more job. We are I mean we got four contracts a day available to us. But if we get more difficult jobs, the payment will be higher. But right now, I don't think I'd want more difficult jobs. Now I could, to help out Amber or myself in the future, I could trade in, because we don't have any more garage space, I could trade in the night for a tractor like this, just to give us a bigger mowing deck, and it'll cut down the time it takes to mow grass, and we'll get like a time bonus. Although, like I said, I don't know if Amber is going to get a time, if she finishes the job quicker than it allows, I don't know if she'll get a time bonus or not. But this is her second day on the job, so when we get done today, like I said, we'll go to her profile page, I guess we'll call it, and see, I don't know if there'll be a bar that shows me if, when she goes from apprentice to, I guess, journeyman's the next one. I do think her payment is kind of low. So I think I'm paying her 150 a week. So that's seven contracts she's going to do for me for 150 bucks. So I mean that first contract she did, she brought in like 450 dollars. That's going to pay her. That's like three weeks payment for her for one job. Like I said, this tractor could go a little bit faster than. I'm going, but you can see the meter on the right hand side, yeah, I'm getting ready to overload the engine. Now I did do one job in between episodes, I was doing a lot of jobs with the grass because that's extremely tall. I did one job where the grass was, say like seven inches, I had to cut it down to two and a half. And with the night, even I was mulching the grass. I was able to go pretty much full throttle almost everywhere. 
so you won't get jobs like that. But it seems like most of the jobs I'm getting right now is to where the grass is just extremely high. Now another thing we'll find out as we get along here, but I don't think it's going to happen until we get to where we can buy the best of the best equipment. There is a mower in here that you can do pattern cutting. So basically when you mow the grass one way and mow it back the other, it'll leave like a pattern in the ground. And some jobs will require that. I think it's a Toro that uh, is the most expensive mower in the game currently. I don't know if they plan to add more brands of mowers in the future or not. Don't know. But I'm pretty sure people are asking if they can add certain brands. I'm not sure this job is going to take me 50 minutes to do, but you're not going to watch me do it for a full 50 minutes. So I'm not sure, I'm also not sure of how many episodes of Lawn Mowing Simulator we're going to do. Um, I guess I'll depend to see how the videos go. This is the second one, but uh, just watching me mow grass for an hour straight and rambling on about random stuff sometimes. I don't know how interesting it's going to be. So, I mean, maybe in the future I might do a couple of uh, montages or or uh, time lapses with some music in the background, something like that. But as for playing the game itself, for me it is relaxing. I wish it was just as relaxing when I mow my own yard, but when I mow my own yard, I just keep thinking, I still got that section to do, I still got that section to do. And in real life, I have a Husqvarna lawnmower with a 48-inch deck. And with that set up there, I, I do got a bagger on the back of it. It takes me about an hour and a half to mow my yard with a 48-inch deck. And lately, it's been kind of hard to mow my yard because where I am, we've been getting a lot of rain lately, and man, the, the yard is just, it's just wet. Wet, wet, wet. So I'd like to see Husker Barn in the game. I know they do got commercial lawnmowers. I don't know if they, I think Husker Barn makes their own lawnmowers. So I think third person is going to be a better view and it's less strainful on the eyes maybe watching the video. It's like one of those things I just got to get used to driving third person. So I mean you saw the first two contracts I did in episode one. Also the sa uh, same thing in uh, the demo mode I did first person. And I think I did about 12 or so contracts in between episodes. I did them all in first person. And today is the first day I'm doing third person, really just trying to give you guys a better view. I'm not sure if I'm enjoying the company logo that we have, so... You know, I may look at that in between episodes. And swap it on out. I, I do like the... It's like a lavender main color shirt and hat that we're going with with like an olive stripe on the side of the shirt but as for the logo I'm not too sure I don't think Kiss My Grass uh, company that should be our logo uh, it would be awesome if we could do a mod our own logos which I'm pretty sure someone will figure that out how to do that uh, I'm not going to dive into the game files yet and dig into to see to see exactly how the files are in there. Not yet, but I mean, I can I can think of a few logos I would like to have on my shirt. Now, see the ambient noises I'm hearing now, like horses. That's fine because we're mowing like a horse. It's not a horse stable, but it's like a training yard for horses. I don't know what you would call it. 
When I'm in a residential area mowing someone's yard, hearing cows moo constantly is like, um, I'm not too sure about that. Alright, so I'm about 30% done here. You know what? Maybe uh, I'll give it a shot here. I'm not sure. I have, of course, I haven't edited the video yet because I'm still recording. Maybe I'll do a time lapse here or I'm going to do a jump cut. We'll see how it goes. Um, actually, you know what? I'll probably will do a time lapse because I'd like to get your opinion on how it, you know, I'd like to see how it looks on a time lapse mowing a yard. Is it too much movement for a time lapse? I don't know. Eh, we'll see how it goes. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking. It's like we're done before we even started. So if this is the end now, baby, know that I gave him my all. I believe in us. I won't give up on missed a few spots here and there but no ground damage yet um, I've been I mean I know it's a zero turn radius kind of a thing but, but there's some collision there and collision there but um, yeah even the night that was kind of a zero turn radius tractor lawnmower and I was damaging the ground quite I don't say often uh, the first couple jobs, yes, but after that I was trying to take it easy. The other thing I forgot to look at is how much of this job I have to complete. I know there was one that was out there that was 99.9%. Uh, .9%. I don't know if that if it's this one right here. If it is, I got a lot of small pieces to go out and collect. But the one thing I gotta figure out is how do you get off the tractor when you're done to collect round clippings. Not that I have to worry about it right now because we got a mulcher. But I'm just curious of how that is done. Now I'm trying to get every little grass clipping I can because if it is the 99.9% .9 contract I need to fulfill 
Now I got a lot of pieces to go around and collect. And I think it said, what, 15 minutes when I took the contract to... It's not 15 minutes to complete the job. I think you can take as long as you want, but if you finish it before the time is up, you get a time bonus. So if you see a contract that says 50 minutes, don't worry about it, I would say, too much. And I don't think there's a penalty fee for going over the time where it says, like, hey, you got so long to do this job. You damage the ground. <laughs> see, I say it and then it happens. Ah, uh, damage the ground. I'm also still trying to learn the width of this machine. Uh, of where the front wheels kind of guide me a little bit. Of how, you know, lean you see I can be on either side to where I actually cuts the grass. And I'm still trying to figure that out. Well, that camera angle is not going to do me well. I'll give it a shot, though. There we go. So, yeah, we're approaching 96%. Most jobs that I've been doing lately have been 99.5% done. Which I'm kind of glad that it's that much. If you look like at maybe Farming Simulator, and I've said this before, Farming Simulator, I think Farming Simulator is like 95% of the job you got to do. And sometimes when you're doing a big field, 5% of the field looks like a lot. So... So these aren't flowers or whatever growing up. They, I mean, to me they did look like weeds, but clearly you cut them, you don't know. And I don't know if that's considered part of the grass or not. But yeah, 99.5% is not asking too much, I don't think. Just my opinion. I mean, I missed a quite amount of pieces here on this lawn. So far, so I'm going to see what happens when I get done mowing this to see what it says. Hopefully, the time lapse wasn't too. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how it's going to look. Like I said, I mean, obviously, I'm still recording, so when it comes to editing, even when I edit it and put it into time lapse, it's kind of hard to see how it looks until you render the video and actually upload it to YouTube and then play it back to see how it looks. So we'll give it a go. I do like the zero turn radius on this tractor. It seems I'm starting to get used to it. But as for like the cleanup fine, like we got on the orchard job that we just did, for only being one cent, if I could mow the yard quicker because you're just discharging the grass and not keep mulching it, is it worth it? Now, like I, I mean, you saw doing some contracts, they do require that you mulch it or bag it. Now, when I did the orchard, it didn't say that required bagging or mulching, but I did have a cleanup fee uh, penalty at the end, so... Right, so the question is, is it 99.5 or is it 99% of this job, because I don't remember. Well, we're at 99.5 and it didn't tick over, so I'm guessing yeah, it wants me to do 99.9%. Which, this job here should not be that difficult, but... I left a lot of small pieces here and there. Now, I might be able to get it just by doing doing the little pieces I got left here. No, not yet. All right. Well, it took me over. Thank you. I didn't want to drive around, so this was a 99.9% .9 job being done. Overall, looks pretty darn good now, doesn't it? So I'm getting done like six, seven minutes ahead of time. So it says reverse on trailer. Like I said, you don't have to just pull on up. Crosley Riding School, that's what the job is. Well, let's see. Uh, I do got some collision damage there, not a whole lot. Not like the last job. The last job, I was sitting in those apple trees trying to circle around them and getting used to this this uh, Patterson riding lawnmower. 
turning too fa fast for extended periods and you oh so it's ex too fast for extended periods so if you do it quickly it won't count all right either way um penalties and fines 729 on collisions ground damage five cents i can deal with that uh but we did earn 1666 dollars and 30 cents um how did amber do well she did not too bad she brought in 591 dollars and 50 cents uh, she did have some collision fees of $7.29. But already our company is back up to $3,186.59, I think is what it says after I accept that. Um, we are now established. We're an established company. Imagine that. Uh, okay. Amber Oliver has called in sick and cannot work today. I okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Um, Percy. Okay, so you can see where it says experience and it says apprentice. She's like at five to not even ten percent, which is fine. Uh, likes her egg scrambled. Always looks on the bright side of life. Thinks celebrity magazine should be banned. Gets all their knowledge from podcast. All right, I like my egg scrambled. Do I always look on the bright side of life? Yeah, probably not as much as she does. Think celebrity magazine should be banned. Well, I, I, I could care less what celebrities do, but <laughs> okay, I'll do it. And gets all their knowledge from podcast. I get all my knowledge from my own channel. That's what I do. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, employees can call in sick. That is interesting. Uh, let's go to headquarters. And, no, not headquarters. Uh, I got to go to the garage. So we'll go to maintenance here. And I wish it was like a repair all button. I try to do this when I'm thinking about it. Because if you just like, ah, I'll just uh, exit the game and do it when I come back in. You forget about it. You go do a job and yeah. not too bad now the only thing I'm trying to figure out and I'm not going to know for a long time is can you have more than one headquarters because say I want to purchase headquarters can you have more than one so this is the one that we currently this is our current uh, headquarter. I think, well, this is the, we got the red wall building for two bays. Can I buy another one for two bays for 150,000 or, or how does that work? I'm not sure. Cause if I can only have, if I can only have one headquarters, why would I spend 160,000 to where it says three bays available? So say I got to buy this one, sell the other one or however it works. I can move those two mowers over, which only gives me one additional bay for 160,000. I'm not sure that's the way it works, but not really knowing. Obviously this one here, unlimited bays available cost to buy 200,000. Either way, uh, not too bad. So Amber has leveled up by about five to 10%. She called in sick. So today I'll probably be working by myself, which is fine. Um, I mean, we started the episode with just a little over five grand. We bought a lot more for five grand and then bought the mulching deck for it for a thousand. And now we're right back up to 3000 right away. So not too bad. Um, both of our lawnmowers are mulchers right now. So that's good. So I can do a lot of contracts. Um, if we were to look at contracts today, are they all expensive contracts? One, two, three, four, five. So we got five contracts avail available to me, so I can choose any one. Um, I mean, obviously, it's, I'll be doing that off camera here. I'll probably do a, a few off camera just to see what's going. That one pays now two thousand six hundred and sixty bucks. Holy smokes! All right, just because you're probably wondering, like I am. So the current grass height is you know, eight and a quarter to 13 inches tall. They want to cut down to about two and a half inches. 
seven minutes of ground check time, so there must be a lot of stuff on there. I gotta cut it to 99.9%. .9%. I'll probably be doing this one because it pays a lot of cash. Deck width of 59 inches. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Um, so this is a 49 inch deck compared to a 39 inch deck. I don't know why after I upgraded it, it shows deck size of zero. Like I said, there's some things in here I don't quite, I think some of the specs on here are kind of a little goofed up. Like on the night, you can see at the top it says with a 112 centimeter, quote unquote, 44 inch mulching deck. Then you look down, it says deck size is 39. So yeah, I'm not too sure. But uh, there's our fleet right there, a Knight and a Patterson. ZTA1 is what we bought today. Um, if you go in the next shop, what would be the next mower I buy? I mean, why would I go? That, that one looks kind of nice. I may trade in at some point the Knight in for something like this. And then Amber can go around and drive the Patterson. Uh, that does cost $8,480, which is actually not that much if you consider you know, we brought in as much cast we did today. We'll see. I'll see how I get along in between episodes and I'll pick up... Ooh, a Toro. Toro, Toro. Rear Discharge. Available Attachment Recycler Kit. I never heard of a Recycler Kit. That's kind of interesting. 48, 61. 15 grand. Side Discharge. Uh, Tiger Stripe Kit. Whatever that is, clamshell grass catcher. I'll be looking at these in the you know in between episodes, see which ones we want to go for. But yep, kiss my grass is uh, coming along nicely. We now we're now established uh, rank one. Whatever the heck that uh, means, I don't know what all the levels actually are, but we'll find out as we go. But anyways, that's gonna do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in Lawn Mowing Simulator. But until then, have a good one.